Hey you guys, it's Cami with Coast DIY Bar and this is your tutorial for your Crafty Gal, your shelf sitter with your tote. Um, it is a video, not a live, and the reason is this. Uh, there are so many parts. I figured I would do a time lapse making the parts because uh, it might take me an hour and a half and I didn't figure you wanted to see me paint all of those individual parts, but I do think for the tote, we're gonna need a video because I think it's gonna be, uh, I don't think it's hard to put together, but it might be easier than me trying to find a thousand words to put in a kit. So I thought it'd be a little bit easier. So this is just a real quick uh, beginner section of the tutorial to walk through the kit parts. And then I'm gonna turn this off and go into a um, time lapse and I'll just paint and then I'll come back once it's all painted and dried, and then I will walk you through how to put it together. So your kit consists of your gnome. Of course it's a gnome. So she's pretty simple this time. She has a main body part, and she's got score lines on the front. She's got a plain back. Uh, so I'm just going to paint her probably black. I'm not going to show the back and she's got a plain back and then the the second layer consists of four parts it's got her nose the two little braids and the hat brim let's see if i can hold it together okay so four parts hat brim nose and the two braids okay and you'll see that it fits perfectly against the back where that fits okay and then in your kit, you have two options for a stand. Flip-flops, because I designed it, right? And uh, there's another stand, which, because it's me, I didn't even grab it off the laser. It's going to be an oval with a slot in it that looks like this slot. It's an oval. So if you don't want flip-flops, you don't have to have flip-flops in your kit. That's fine. You can use the oval, and that's fine. So you don't, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't want flip-flops, but you don't have to have them. So if you want the flip-flops, though, your flip-flops are two layers, just a base of your flip-flops, which you'll just paint solid, and then your little feet with the flip-floppy parts. And then what will happen is she'll go right into the flip-flop part, right? And then this will glue onto here. What I would do is, what I'm going to do is glue this onto here, lined up. And if you look at the heels, see that? That'll kind of line nicely up there. You can line the toes where you want. And then I'm going to store these separately when I store. I probably won't even put mine away, but if you need to store it, store these separately so it'll go flat, and then she'll sit in here without needing to be glued, okay? So that's, that's your gnome. Then you've got your tote, and your tote is just a bunch of kind of squares. You're gonna have whatever option you picked for your front, so it's either gonna say craptaholic, it's gonna say um, crop, you drop or it's going to be blank so that's going to be your choice you're going to have the back piece which looks like this with the handle the back will be like this um, the laser tends to create a burn and you can paint it black which will cover that stain it brown which will cover that mostly or um, you can sand most of that off if you don't like that burn um, so you can do that. I keep the cost down, not masking that. If you mask it, you know, just costs a little bit more. So I try to keep the cost as low as possible. So then that will go, you know, down on the bottom. Then there are four center layers and they are two and two. Um, they're different heights. <laughs> Get it together, girl. Get the heights the same. So different heights of the way they go down. See how this one on this side is deeper than this one? And my concept was the shorter one, which from the bottom will be the taller, will go in the back. 
like that. See how that kind of is a stair step and it raises it up. My concept was that it will raise up your items taller, easier in the back, but so you can still see some detail. And so it'll go like this, right? So it's like a stair step. And then this little thing will just go right on the front. I mean, that really could have just been your video right there, but no, we're going to make it longer. So if that's all you needed, bah, go, go enjoy it, but it will be longer. So I'm going to, that's your tote. And then you've got tons and tons of pieces and pieces and pieces. Now, you do have this little oval right here. What this is, if you choose to do this, it's a second layer for your nose, okay? Sometimes I like to add lots of dimension to the gnomes. It's an optional layer. And what I'm going to do is I'll use it this time. I didn't use it for the one that I took the photos of. So then you can kind of see both. So that way you'll see what you want to do with that. And then you've got everything in here from hammers to yarn to paint to glue to different things. So there's like a couple of um, glue. So like this glue has no hand and this glue has a hand. So you choose which ones you want to put where, and that's how your kit goes. So I'm gonna stop this, and then the next section you'll see is a time lapse of me painting, uh, not my face, but the kit. So then I will just do the time lapse of me painting, and then after that, I'll come back and I'll talk you through how to put it together. See you soon. Okay, I'm back. I gotta tell you, time lapse is a, um, it's a puzzle that took me 45 minutes. And when I was finished, I rewatched the time lapse and it was gone by like that. Uh, anyway, so one thing I did when I finished, because I wasn't sure it was gonna work, but it did, I did a really quick black paint splatter, which I liked. So do white, do black, splatter, don't splatter, that's up to you. Um, Girl, look what I just did. I put my elbow in my glue. Don't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this together. So I'm gonna push the camera down a little bit. All my pieces are here, they're dry, I'm ready to go. And let's start with uh, the gnome. I'm gonna have it facing me, but I'll turn it around. I think it'll be easier. So I've just put some glue on my bag and I have this old brush um, that I use and I use uh, this tight bond, quick and thick. Don't use hot glue for this part. I am gonna try something at the end of this to see if it'll work. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Um, but I like this. You can use any wood glue. If you get my kit and you ordered enough to get a free party pack in July, there is an Eileen's wood glue in there. That works great too. So use either. Um, I like to do this on kits lately. This is what I've been doing because I tend to be a little heavy handed sometimes. <laughs> so that's up to you. And what you'll find is this piece lines right up to that bottom score line on the hat. And you should be able to feel it on the edge. 
And the good thing about tight bond is there's enough time that you can kind of get it on and still move it around. Now, earlier I mentioned that there's two ovals in a kit when you get it. So I'm gonna put the first one on first and get this situated. Because again, there is enough time to move the glue around, but it's not like forever. So you don't want to you don't want to put that hat piece on and then just leave it. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna check it. Make sure that I can see what I'm doing. Feel it. You know, the good part about this is it doesn't really have to be perfect because it's not aligning to anything else. And she's good to go. Now, if I wanted to, I could put the second nose on like this. And one of the things I like to do often is if I can, see how there is a lot of burn at the top of the nose? I think that looks exactly like natural shading. And so I like to put that at the top. So I'm gonna put some glue right on this. And I'm gonna do a double nose and we're gonna see what that looks like. I'm lining it right up to the nose. Now, if you're more comfortable and you want to do the double nose, you could put the two noses together first so you know that they're perfectly lined up. You can feel the edges. I'm just gonna kinda keep turning it. Uh, one thing about type on quick and thick, if you get it, you can get it at Lowe's, probably Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Amazon, probably Walmart, to be honest. Um, if you put too much, it will, if you turn your head and don't pay attention, things will just whoop, slide right off the top when you're not looking. So just pay attention, take your time. It's not a speed race, it's crafting. So just kinda, and if you're not really careful with it, even though you're not trying to, sometimes you'll put pressure on it and you're not trying to, and all of a sudden it, things will just kinda slide. And I'm doing it now and I'm definitely not trying to. Yeah, the second layer. She's definitely sliding. I'm gonna keep an eye on her nose. I'm gonna set it right here. I'm not gonna move it too far. I'm gonna check back on that in just a second. Now I'm gonna put her little flip-flop stand together. We talked about that. I'm gonna put her flip-flops right on top. And one thing I'm gonna avoid is to put a lot of glue around the slot. I'm just going to go around the edges. And then I'm going to align the heels so that it's even. And her big toes are supposed to hang off a little bit. Give it a kind of a push. And then that's together. I'm gonna let that dry. Check her nose again. Okay, it looks like we are good. All right, I'm gonna let that lay flat. Um, I have cardboard down here that's not flat. I'm gonna set that over there on the table. Okay, now we're gonna put the craft tote together. Okay, and what I've done on a lot of my pieces you know, I painted them black on the back just because I, I love this piece. I will be displaying this piece personally. Um, oh, I got a little extra splatter. I'm going to be all right with that. Um, so remember, you're going to have the two high step pieces and then the two lower step pieces, right? So we're just going to rack and stack them. 
I step first. Actually, I'm going to put the glue on the back of this. I think it's going to be better. I'm just doing the edges, really. And then I'm going to do this little tip. You don't necessarily want to do this back part because part of that's going to show. And notice that I watched where that was going to show and I painted it. And you can go back after you put it together and if you missed any parts, you can certainly put that together. I'm going to kind of squish this together a little bit. But I'm going to come back. I'm going to do two of these. And then squish. I'm not doing like super thick glue because that's where you get a lot of sliding with this kind of glue. You put it together and before you know it, one piece is just, you know, quarter of an inch slid right off the top on you. It's a box, so just kind of Use your edges. I'm gonna keep scroll scrolling, rolling. Get those little tips. Make sure you get those tips or they will not want to hold. There's not a lot of surface area there. And I do recommend a, a brush or some, like a sponge when putting this together so you don't have a lot of thick glue. Because you do want it to go together really well. This brush with this glue, when I'm done with it, and I've been doing this for a while now, I'll just stick it right in my paint water. And because it's water soluble, That'll rinse right out, as long as you don't let it dry. Okay, so th that's two layers. Squeeze really good. All right, and I got one more front. Actually, so with this front, right, I'm actually gonna put the glue on this piece because I, need, I don't wanna put glue here and end up with a bunch of open glue there so just you know think ahead with your glue a little bit on this piece so you don't have like a ton of glue if you end up with glue there just wipe it off it's not like it's the end of the world it'll be fine and even if you don't get it all off it'll dry Don't panic. Okay, we're going in the water. See how I painted the top of that? All right, going on, squeeze. And that's it. I've got a little bit of, oh, oh, oh that's a mess. A little bit of glue squeeze out and what I can do is rinse out my glue brush a little bit and with a wet glue brush now make sure you don't have like black paint or anything weird in your water but you can take a wet brush like this and where you've got glue squeezing out if you want to you can do this to it so you don't have any bumps of glue when it dries. So when you tuck goodies into your tote, it's not blocked.
I just paused for a second because I couldn't see the countdown on the video and I thought I did not video. Whew. I can see it now. There was a moment. There's a moment. I'm gonna keep going. I'll be all right. Okay, anyway, wet your brush. Goodness gracious, I'll be all right. Wet your brush. Did you see me drop my brush? Whew. Okay, wet your brush and you're just gonna go over that glue line that squeezes out so you don't have any like bumps, major bumps of glue that'll cause your craft supply goodies to not sit properly. And that's it now. And then all you're gonna do is tuck. Look, now you could at this point, if you choose to, depending on how you're gonna display your tote, you could glue things in, right? You can just tuck things, so I'll show you. You know, this is why you might choose to glue it in. Once it's in, it's in, because it'll be tight. Oh, I have to do, I have to glue one thing. I'll show you that in just a second. But like, see how you wedge things in once it's in? See? So once you get it in, it'll wedge in, but you can glue it in if you choose to. Let me show you one thing you've got to, you do have to glue together, and it is the um, paper cutter. So this is a paper cutter. So I'm gonna take a little bit of glue, put it on the back of my top piece. And I painted the ends of my top piece because they'll go over the edge a little bit. And just pick a spot, put it anywhere you want. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I manipulate it too much. Okay, now you're done. You're gonna play with this, you're gonna put it all together, but here's what I'm gonna try. And if this works, you're gonna have four wooden beads that I didn't talk about in your kit. If it doesn't work, you'll know that because I'm gonna say they're not gonna be in your kit. But here's my idea. I painted these black before this video because I have this idea that uh, they could be wheels, like a, like a rolling tote. You're gonna need wood glue for this. I tried this on my original. <laughs> Stop it, stop it. Okay, I'm back. So you're going to need wood glue. I mean, hot glue because wood glue, um, you probably can't tell, but I tried it and it, nobody has the patience to actually sit there and hold it that long. Too hard, but let's give it a go. I've had the hot glue going for a little bit. Should be good. I'm going to give this a shot. Let me see where I want to put these. I just kind of have the sense that you you can this is my glue this is my glue gun holder look I put glue sticks in one side and my glue gun in the other oh snap look okay let's see if this will work this is I mean, don't they look like wheels? Okay. And here's my worry now that they're 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 not level. Hmm. We're just gonna do it. If they're not level, they're not level. And that's just gonna be life, right? I just feel like they'll be funny. All I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of hot glue right around the circle. Now my glue, hot glue is literally high temp. Um, use whatever you got. 
be careful. My beads are touching. I'll show you. I'll flip it up once I'm done. If it works. If it's even close to working, I'll include them. And you can choose whether to do it or not. And if your beads are uneven, I apologize. There's, I'm not going to have the um, mental power to measure beads. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay. These won't take long. I think that's funny. You're getting beads. I'm going to put... That's my friend's dog. <laughs> he comes over every now and then because he has helped my reactive dog. She loves him. Right, bud? Okay. So, and now all we're going to do is we're going to fill it. And you fill it with anything that you want, wherever you want. Put it wherever you want. I like this one because it's thick. And you can... Let's see, let's put in some glitter. I could not find my glitter paint. Obviously, it'd be really cute to put glitter paint on the glitter container. So do better than me, right? Um, the glue gun, oh, I need to put, hold on. I still have to do one more um, thing. I've got to decorate the girl. I will put the yarn in here, which is not really my craft, but let's do that. We're gonna put the hammer, because that is more Minecraft. And we'll put, oh, let's see, I'm, okay. Uh, you need to decide what you're gonna have her hold, and then what you're gonna put in your tote, okay? So what I chose to do on this one, you're gonna have the option for uh, paintbrush and glue, okay? I did not choose that for this one, because I did that in the first sample, or, a pencil and a glue gun, which is what I did on this one. Okay, so my she'll hold pencil and glue gun. Now, then let's see, because this one's going in my house. Of course it is. So I did, I'm gonna do the palette. I'm gonna put the brush, because I didn't do the brush, so I'll do the brush. I'll do the paint. I'll do a, mm, hello. I'll do this other brush, scissors, that's, yeah, that's good. And then I can tuck in this ruler and maybe like a button or two. One thing you can do with the buttons, I know the video is getting long, I'm sorry. Fast forward me, but I just had this idea because I saw this, you could, do something like this with the buttons. Um, I mean, look, there's a thousand things you could do. I could sit here all day. I'll try not to. And I don't think I could tie a bow backward. Well, maybe I can. I guess it's no different than but look, you could put the buttons on like this. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'll do the bow later, but just, okay, dang it. Okay, you know that's cute, right? Look at that. And then look, so that's how the, that is in your face, but that's how the beads went on. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Now let's put our girl together. I almost forgot her. I got sidetracked and excited about the tote. And you may have more than you need. Oh, I'm gonna put that on there too. All right, let's put her together. I'm gonna have to lay her flat. Let's see if I can, All right? So this is kind of how this will go. You're gonna put her, I'm gonna do this just for purposes of 
get, I want to get her hands where I want her hands. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this paint here. See how it's level with her hair? And I'm gonna put this brush here. And then in your file, I'm coming down to talk to you, I'm gonna put some circles, little circles. Consider those risers. I have nothing on this table similar that I could show you, but when you get your circles, if you want to, you could put a little circle there that you would never see, and you could lift up, right? You could lift her hand up so it would go above her hair. But right now, I'm just gonna use pieces, which I like. And let me get my glue back. Get my glue back, get my glue brush. And let's get her going. Put a little bit of glue here. Oh, that was a lot of glue. Squished out. Do my little brush. And my advice for this part is just to kind of go haphazard, but look at the hand position. That's the only one I want you to kind of think about the direction. Don't have them like upside down and stuff like that. I'm gonna turn her around for just a second. Make sure I get her hands. And I'm gonna actually tuck the paint out just a little bit so I can see that it sees paint says said it says paint and I'm actually going to knock that brush out a little bit so that I can see that it's a brush and I'm holding it and I'll show you see what I did and then now I don't think you let me kind of I'm just gonna man that I don't think we, I'm gonna kind of place things. Ooh, I've got this paint, got a pencil, and I've got scissors and this brush. So I'm gonna do, Sorry, I keep seeing dog hair. I mean, I might just go a couple layers. I might add an extra layer because I want that paint on there. So that's how I'm gonna do it. Let me take it off and glue it down. I mean, technically, if you had like command strip stuff, you could Make her interchangeable if you wanted to. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her permanent. <laughs> Shush. Okay, I'm back. She is glued. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's put her in her shoes, flip-flops. And let's roll in her craft tote. Look, I recognize the silliness of it. Oh, hello, camera is on that side of her, but I love her. I think she's funny. Now listen, there's going to be an ornament too, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek. I have not done a video of the ornament yet. I will, but that's a sneak peek of the ornament. So that's coming. 
So if you're seeing this one first, how cute is she? Dag on it. Look. So cute. I love it. I think she's funny. I'm gonna lay her flat though. She needs to finish solidified. I got a little excited and added a couple extra layers there. All right, listen. Oh, stop putting your hand on the camera. I hope you love her. Don't, don't knock it all out. It is literally in my lap right now. I'll put it back. I'll take a photo. And I hope you love it as much as I do. Have a good time with it. And um, share photos. Make sure you are in the Coast DIY Show and Tell group. And make sure you show photos of how you put it together. And uh, I think you should name her. I know she's a crafty gal, but I think she needs a name and you need to share it. And give us a backstory. Tell us about her. Tell us what she loves and what her favorite craft is. All right, you guys have an amazing time with it, and uh, I love you guys. Thanks.